Have you ever wondered why some people live vibrantly well into their 90s or even 100, while others seem to age prematurely? Aging is a natural process, something we all experience, yet it remains one of life's greatest mysteries. What if I told you that the answer to this mystery lies deep within our genes? In every cell of our body, the blueprint for aging is already written, coded in our DNA. These genetic instructions don't just guide us through our early years of growth, but also dictate how we age, how long we live, and when our bodies start to show signs of wear. In this video, we're going to explore how genetics plays a crucial role in the aging process. From the key genes that influence lifespan to the groundbreaking scientific discoveries that could one day redefine how we age, we'll dive into what we know and what we're still learning about the genetic basis of aging. Aging at its core is the gradual decline in the function and health of our cells. As we grow older, our cells lose their ability to divide and repair themselves effectively. This process is known as cellular senescence. It's like a biological clock ticking away in each of our cells, and over time, it starts to malfunction. At the heart of this clock is our DNA. Every time a cell divides, tiny sections of our chromosomes called telomeres get shorter. Telomeres are like the protective caps on the ends of shoelaces, and once they wear down too much, the cell can no longer divide or function properly. This is just one of the ways our genes dictate how we age. But our genes don't just control the limits of cell division. They also regulate how our bodies respond to stress, how we repair DNA damage, and how we maintain healthy tissues. For example, certain variants of the FOXO3 gene have been linked to exceptional longevity, helping people live longer, healthier lives. One fascinating comparison is the Galapagos tortoise. These creatures can live well over 100 years, thanks in part to their unique genetic makeup, which allows them to repair their cells more efficiently than most animals, including humans. By studying their genes, scientists hope to uncover clues that might one day help us slow down our own aging process. Let's dive into the key players, the genes that control the aging process. While aging might seem like a complex mystery, science has identified some major genetic components that influence how we age and ultimately how long we live. First up, we have telomeres. Think of telomeres as the protective caps at the ends of our chromosomes. Every time a cell divides, these caps get a little bit shorter, like the plastic ends of your shoelaces wearing down over time. Eventually, these telomeres become too short and the cell can no longer divide properly. This process is one of the main drivers of aging at the cellular level. But here's where things get interesting. There's an enzyme called telomerase that can actually rebuild those telomeres, extending the cell's lifespan. In certain cells, like stem cells and germ cells, telomerase is naturally active, allowing them to keep dividing and repairing. However, in most of our somatic cells, telomerase is inactive, which is why these cells age and eventually die. If scientists can figure out how to safely activate telomerase in our cells, we could, in theory, extend lifespan and improve cell health. But of course, there are risks. Too much telomerase can also lead to uncontrolled cell growth, which is linked to cancer. So, while telomerase holds great promise, we still have a lot to learn. Next, let's talk about sirtuins. Sirtuins are a family of proteins that play a critical role in cellular health, regulating everything from DNA repair to energy production. They're like the cellular maintenance crew, constantly working behind the scenes to keep things running smoothly. One of the most well-known sirtuins is SIRT1, which has been shown to influence longevity by promoting cellular repair and reducing inflammation. Sirtuins also help protect cells from stress, which is one of the key factors that accelerates aging. By regulating processes like apoptosis, programmed cell death, and autophagy, 
cellular cleanup, sirtuins can help extend the lifespan of cells. In fact, studies have shown that caloric restriction, one of the only proven methods to extend lifespan in animals, works in part by activating sirtuins. This suggests that finding ways to naturally boost sirtuine activity could be a major key to slowing down the aging process in humans. And now, let's talk about one of the most exciting genes linked to longevity, FOXO3. People who carry certain variants of the FOXO3 gene have been shown to live longer, healthier lives. But how does this gene work? FOXO3 helps protect cells from oxidative stress, which is one of the main causes of aging. It acts as a master regulator of cell survival, DNA repair, and even stress resistance. People with the beneficial variants of this gene are more likely to avoid age-related diseases like cardiovascular issues or Alzheimer's and generally tend to live longer. Scientists are still studying exactly how FOXO3 works, but it's clear that this gene plays a pivotal role in the aging process. Understanding it better could one day lead to treatments that help us all live longer, healthier lives. So, as we've seen, genes like telomerase, sirtuins, and FOXO3 are the heavy hitters when it comes to the genetic control of aging. Each one contributes in its own way to the lifespan of our cells, and by extension, our bodies. The more we learn about these genes, the closer we get to understanding the full story of aging and how we might one day influence it. Now imagine a child who, by the age of just a few years old, begins to show signs of aging. Wrinkles, hair thinning, stiff joints. This isn't science fiction. It's called progeria, or more specifically, Hutchinson-Guilford progeria syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that essentially speeds up the biological clock. Children with progeria age at an accelerated rate, experiencing in just a few years what typically takes decades for the rest of us. Most tragically, many don't live beyond their early teens, often succumbing to conditions like heart disease, issues we usually associate with old age. Now, here's the fascinating part. Progeria is caused by a single mutation in the LMNA gene, which creates a defective protein called progerin. Normally, lamin A, the protein this gene produces, keeps the structure of our cells intact, particularly the nucleus, where all our genetic material is stored. But in progeria, this mutant progerin wreaks havoc on the cells, leading to rapid aging. But here's where the story of progeria gets even more interesting. The same cellular chaos that happens in children with progeria is also happening on a much smaller scale in all of us. Yes, progerin is found in healthy people too, just in much smaller amounts. This suggests that the processes causing this accelerated aging in progeria may also play a role in the normal aging process. By studying progeria, scientists are unlocking secrets that could one day slow down or maybe even reverse certain aspects of aging. So while progeria is a heartbreaking condition, it's also a window into the larger question we all wonder about. What really drives aging and can we do something about it? So we've got our genes, right? That intricate code, the blueprint for how we grow, live, and yes, how we age. But here's the wild part. It's not just your genes calling the shots. There's a whole other layer of control called epigenetics. Think of your DNA like the keys of a piano. The notes are there, but it's epigenetics that decides which notes are played and when. And the craziest part, the way you live, your diet, how much stress you're under, even where you live, can influence which of those notes get played. Let's break this down. Your environment can actually turn certain genes on or off, much like flipping a light switch. For example, chronic stress or poor diet can flip on genes that accelerate aging, triggering inflammation, cell damage, all that bad stuff. But the reverse is true too. Positive lifestyle choices, like regular exercise or a nutrient-rich diet, 
can flip on genes that help repair cells, protect against disease, and even slow the aging process. Imagine two people with the same genetic predisposition to aging. One eats poorly, is stressed out, and leads a sedentary lifestyle. The other follows a balanced diet, stays active, and manages their stress. Their genetic code might be similar, but how they age could be dramatically different, all because of epigenetics. And here's the real kicker. The choices you make today don't just affect your own aging process. They can influence the health and longevity of future generations. That's right, epigenetic changes can be passed down. So you're not just shaping your own life, you could be shaping the lives of those who come after you. Now, if you thought the science of aging was fascinating, wait until you hear about the future of aging research. We're living in a time where the boundary between science fiction and reality is blurring. One of the biggest breakthroughs, CRISPR, a gene editing technology that allows us to precisely cut and paste sections of our DNA. Imagine being able to snip out damaged genes that accelerate aging or insert new ones that extend lifespan. Sounds futuristic, right? Well, it's happening in labs around the world. And let's not forget gene therapy. Scientists are already experimenting with ways to repair or alter aging-related genes to slow down cellular decline. By targeting the genes responsible for aging, we could not only extend life, but improve the quality of life as we age. Some studies are showing remarkable promise. In animals, genetic manipulation has already extended life expectancy by 20%, 30%, even 50%. The question is, how close are we to applying this research to humans? The science is moving fast, but there are still ethical and safety questions to answer. So how close are we to unlocking the full potential of aging research? Stay tuned because the future might hold the key to longer, healthier lives for all of us. All right, let's pull this all together. We've seen how aging isn't just about time passing. It's about what's happening deep inside our cells, from telomeres that wear down, to sirtuins that work tirelessly to repair our cells, to the FOXO3 gene that might just be the secret to a longer life. And we can't forget how epigenetics shows us that it's not just about the genes we're born with, but how we live that can shape our aging process. So here's the big question. If you could live to 150, would you want to? We're on the brink of breakthroughs that might make that possible. But what does that mean for society, for us as individuals? As always, I want to hear what you think. Like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts or questions in the comments. We're just scratching the surface of what's possible, and there's so much more to explore when it comes to the science of aging.